So hi and welcome to the third video in the um, uh, questions answered series. So uh, what this series is, is it's not um, really me teaching programming or anything. It's just me answering questions that people have uh, with problems they have when they're making the when they're making their websites or following my tutorials. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, so this first question says, "Hey, please, I need your help. I have X Ubuntu on my computer. That HD access is not working. Thank you." So uh, unfortunately, I can't really comment on Ubuntu because I don't use it. But uh, what I can say from my experiences with Mac, and I don't know if it's the same because I know they're both Unix based, is um, on Mac by default. Dot HD act or files with a dot in front of them don't show up. So uh, you need to. It's just a setting you need to change. So uh, I would just Google it, and then um, it's probably just something simple. You can type in the terminal, and then um, it should uh, probably fix it if that's what's causing the problem. So um, next question. So this one says, uh, all of your videos are perfect. Thank you. Uh, but I think there's a short problem. Uh, the registration and login process is very simple. Uh, no email activation after registration. What about cookies? Is there any possibility to see you fixing this? Thanks. Uh, well, it's I did that intentionally because it's kind of and I don't know I don't I don't like signing up to websites where you have to activate your email. Um, so I didn't really want to do it with uh, mine. But if um if you want to see a tutorial on that, um. After the series is over, I will probably do extra tutorials like that so that people who are following the series and don't want those extra features um, can move on and do uh, something else at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I probably will do that sort of thing eventually, but, um, uh, um, you know, I, I'll probably do it after the series. Uh, so, in the next question, this one says, hey, you have good tutorials. And I have some questions. Hope you can rep or hope you reply. Thanks. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have time to chase uh, after everyone to try and find out what the questions are. But if you um, have a question and you want to ask it, just send me a message. But um, I'm sorry, but I don't want to chase after people to find out what their questions are. So uh, just if you have a problem, just ask me the actual question and then I'll give you an answer. So uh, the next one is, um, this one says, uh, okay, seriously, I need or uh, I need help. Whenever I try to go on to localhost slash PHP, my admin, it never let me go in. It says, cannot open web page, blah, 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 blah. So uh, this person actually sent me like two or three messages. And on the third one, it looks like they might have fixed it, but I don't know. So I'm just going to answer it anyway. And... Uh, I think the problem is in uh, one of the messages he mentioned or uh, he mentioned um, that he had a load of code showing up on his page, a uh, load of PHP code and it wasn't actually uh, processing properly. And what I believe that is because of is uh, because of all the other problems. So actually I'm going to start from the uh, very beginning problem first. So the first problem Okay, so uh, the first problem I think you're having is because of something called XAMP. Um, uh, well, it says it's not responding, but it doesn't matter. So um, what XAMP is, is basically the thing, the program that allows me to write PHP code on my computer. Similarly to um, if you, if you uh, watch the Python series, you know you have to download and install Python um, because... Uh, computers just don't automatically recognize PHP and Python and things. So you, they have to be installed and the package I chose to install PHP is called XAMP. And the reason I chose that is because uh, XAMP doesn't just have PHP, it has MySQL and Apache, as you can see. And uh, I think your problem was even if you installed XAMP, it's not that... Um, Maybe it's not that you didn't install XAMP. Maybe it's because you didn't start the uh, Apache and the MySQL modules. Because as you can see, mine say running beside them in green. So uh, 
by default this is start as you can see down here but if you wanted to actually um, start them all you have to do is click start and then it uh, takes a few seconds and then it uh, actually starts them and without MySQL obviously you can't use MySQL and without Apache you can't use um, localhost and uh, the next thing I think your problem was is when you said um, uh, all your code was being uh, displayed not actually run uh, this could be because of the same problem with the uh, X XAMPP not being installed maybe or it could be uh, because of this as you can see uh, it's this file saved on my desktop and not in the htdocs folder in the XAMPP directory which is where all of your PHP code has to be stored for it to actually be run uh, because if I just write quick PHP script I'm going to have to say is echo whoops hello world um, as you can see this is just a normal PHP script but um, but it's uh, saved on my desktop uh, so since it's not in the XAMPP directory it won't actually run and as you can see it just gets displayed as uh, text that doesn't actually get run so um, that's why you need to put it in the XAMPP directory and the other reason I think or uh, not really a reason but the way you can fix this is if you don't have XAMPP and you don't know where to get it just google XAMPP or go to the website Apache or just go to this website and then as you can see it has all the stuff you need so uh, when you get to this website all you have to do is choose your installation method uh, just choose method A with the installer it downloads the installer and just run it and that should be you fixed and sorted uh, so uh, it's probably time for the next question um, uh, so this question just says please upload all the .sql files I only have uh, posts.sql and users.sql uh, files are missing so uh, this is in uh, part 38 of the social network series so uh, I know with one of them I made a mistake and I messed up the uh, source code uh, so if this is actually I think I have a feeling that this person might be wrong but just in case they're not uh, just um, go to the part 39 or whatever and download it the source code and you don't have to use the source code all you might need to do is just um, insert the SQL files uh, because they should all be there okay so this, this is uh, the last question uh, that we'll have time for today and it says uh, in part th well it says where did you get the search underscore white dot png image and this is for the search so are the uh, sorry uh, the social network part third or part three video I need to learn how to speak um, so I have no idea uh, it was months ago that uh, I made those videos so I have no idea and I'm sorry I can't help you uh, with that uh, but if you just search Google for a question mark icon then you just use something like Photoshop or GIMP it's uh, like a free alternative to Photoshop you should be able just to make um, any icon whatever color you want so if you just get a black um, magnifying glass just delete the background and then just change it so that it's white if that's what you want so uh, that's it for this video don't forget to like favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time and uh, also don't forget to keep sending in your questions um, and if I don't answer them by message I'll definitely answer or I will try to answer them in this series thanks